All right, welcome to the Clutch Tour Champs. This is round one at Enville Golf Club in the Midlands area somewhere. This is a properly, properly, properly nice golf course. Um, tough test, leading score after round one was seven under. Joe Brooks went seven under, which is like an amazing score today. Um, rest of the pack think then it's four under, three under. I think inside the top sort of like 20 is one under and level par is like tied for tonight. Quite a lot of people on level par. Uh, it's the first time we've been to this golf course before. Um, we're playing the high gate, which is the slightly longer one, um, which is a tiny bit wider, but still like quite a tight golf course. So we get straight into this, every single shot, commentate over it as we do. Right, so we started on 10, two tee to start. Started on 10, which is a par five. Got to hit to the top of the slope and get it releasing. Didn't get the release, hit a four iron, um, and it got blocked out behind the tree. Sort of misjudged the wind on the on the tee shot, needed to hit a three iron and get it a bit further down to give myself a chance. But anyway, had 108 yards into this hole, which hit a pretty good wedge shot, and had um, somewhat of a look. Thought this was gonna be a fair bit quicker. Um, they were running at about 10 yesterday, and they were just a bit quicker today. Thought they might be um, cut and roll and, and be like another foot quicker. But anyway, we got off to a par start. This is like a very classic looking hole for Enville. This is um, 380-ish yards, I think. So it's hitting a far enough the tee. Gets tighter up there with driver. Really narrows into like 25 yards wide. Had 160 in. Um, in fact, it was 170 all the way back to the flag and just flared an eight iron. Not the best shot, which left me with a tricky bunker shot. Pins like right back on the tier. And then um, had a good look at making a par. And then got a nasty lip out. And that is, this is an interesting round. This is probably the best I've hit it all year. Um, and I'm sure you, you will agree if you've watched most of these round videos. But I'm not going to give it away, but there's quite a few putts that could have dropped today. But you're going to see that. Anyway, so this is a tough hole. 440 yard par four. Dog legs hard left to right. So you've got to hit either a slicey driver. I just hit a three iron, which gave me 180 into wind off the right. So it's hit a seven iron. Decent shot at the pin. Left myself a, uh, a downhill part, which is breaking like a foot off the right, um, which got quick down by the hole. That was in the front door if I hit it. But anyway, no stress par. Now we've got a 440 yard par four downhill. Again, this tightens up pretty tight and it's bouncy. Um, so driver's really out of the question. We all hit. Um, well, it's a three wood or two iron. I hit my two iron. Hit a decent two iron down there, about 300 yards of a bit of roll, and it's slightly downhill as well. Left myself one, four, five. I hit really nice pitching wedge here. And this looked very good for a second. Pitched up pin high. And there's just a little tear, so like, just a bit of backspin and then come back down the tear, so. Had about 15 foot, bit of a right to left break. Well, as Will said, the filming, Ollie gets closer um, and closer as we go. I just wanted to like get Ollie a bit further away for the first bit, just in case the, my playing partners weren't too sure about someone filming, but the filming gets a lot closer as normal as we go through the round. Now it's 160 yard par three. Now Shergo, my playing partner, hit a little seven and we're about the same in terms of distance. I hit an eight. It, I turned it over a bit and it actually like got into this stuff up here. Wow. It was plugged, so I got a bit of relief. But then it's in this like proper, proper thick, gnarly stuff, which you get a lot of around here. And then thought I'll hold that. So this, now we're gonna, we're gonna basically do a putt count now from now on. So, Without really hitting too many bad golf shots, two over through four holes, which is frustrating. Or five holes, rather. This is 390 yard par four. Uh, fairly straight, but the fairway like cambers hard left to right, but 
three iron off the tee. Left myself 130, so this is a gap wedge. Just like a bit flared, but pin high. I left myself this putt, which is breaking like a foot and a half offside the right. It's quick. I hit such a good putt here. And this just like rolled over the front of the lip, basically. I thought that was going in like a few inches before the hole. So this is 210, par three, over water, up into wind. So this is playing like 220. Um, just caught this slightly heavy, but no real stress. Like shorts, not really a bad leave. Bit of the old right hand jabber. Get on, get it rolling. And this is fairly straightforward putt. It's like inside left. Nice and confident. So this is about 400 yards. Got some bunkers to carry at 220. Really nice three iron here. Like, really feel like I'm swinging it pretty well at the moment. Had one, two, two in. Wind was sort of in off of the right. Um, so instead of hitting a big 55, just hitting a little 50 degree wedge, which was pin high. Give myself a good look at birdie again. And uh, <laughs> again, that looked really good. So I slotted in for par. So we've got a par five, which is about 510, I think. Now, you see the trees that are coming out on the left there? So that's what I'm trying to carry. I mean, like a really good golf swing with a driver. And a four that I was going to carry them, I'd literally have like eight on in here. I think it just caught the top of the tree which left me 208 and this is a five iron so the pin is see where those banners things are on the right the pin is like in line with the left one of those so just got a five iron coming down sort of middle of the green nice shot gave myself a look at eagle from 15 foot and again this looked pretty good just before the hole just slightly died away but you can't hold a birdie part, you just knock it on a par five and two. Um, so you can see my alignment here is like way right. This is a 460, 470 yard par four into wind. Um, and I'm just literally like, I've been struggling with my alignment slightly, I mean, it's like too far right. And it always leads, I mean, that's a, that's pretty much a good swing, but it's aiming the right place. So you can see provisional ball, m alignment's much better, made a very similar golf swing. And instead of, you know, being in the right trees, that is. App that is like miles down there um, which left me a really really nasty lie having to hit a little cart and it just came out of this heavy stuff pretty funky and uh, this is on the edge of the heather but it looked like someone had literally stepped on it just trying to get this on the green this looked pretty good front of the lip and uh, just right in front of the lip where all the sand is and then from there, just a little jab, like really into grain, rough stuff. And then fairly simple knocking it in. So it's literally alignment that's caused a double, um, even though I've not really made a bad golf swing, just looking in the right, wrong place. So this is 208 again. Um, it's a par three, wind is off the left. It's a really nice five iron. This is pitched pin high, just released out to the back. So we've got a lip for birdie, but this is pretty quick. It's like a foot off the right. And again, this is just, this one's nasty. <laughs> and at this point it was just like, what have I done? Right, just knocking it in from um, the over the hanging hole. I mean, if that wasn't the Solheim Cup, that would have been a legitimate overhanger, that one. So pulled a two iron here just into the tree. Um, this is one, about 100 yards. And there's a little gap, just trying to knock a 60 degree over the trees. Hit a pretty good shot, got this one down pin high. Um, so left me all of what must have been about 20 foot. And uh, yeah, just missed again. Next hole is 370 just knocking it up onto the top bit with 
four iron as you can see um this nine there's a lot of heather which which basically lines all of the fairways and the front nine it's more trees but it gets pretty heavy so don't really want to miss in that stuff you've got no control this is one for one playing slightly downhill so it's just a little pitching wedge it's a really nice swing again so yeah under the hole this is literally a straight part and uh gave myself a good look here and again hit a good part oh, watch this this is like overhanging on the lip again. It's like the third one. Anyway, move on to the next. 167. Slightly into wind, so just a uh, control date. Didn't really want to f flirt with long or right. Um, so just a safe shot, pulled it slightly. Got a downhill swinger. This is one of the greens. Didn't, doesn't get much light and had quite a lot of traffic. We turned off late today. We turned off at like 155. So um, don't really want to give myself a free foot. So just knocked it down there. This is um, this is quite a brutal hole. So this is like 450. One of the tightest driving holes I've seen. And uh, gets tighter with drivers. to so trying to hit two iron down there. Ended up pulling it a tad. Got like the worst line this heavy stuff. Anyway, knocked it up. Um, Harvey's caddying for me, did a really good job of caddying for me today and uh, just told me to knock it up this hole, I had 100 yards in and then I had this swinging putt for par and this literally, this reaction says it all, <laughs> that's the first putt, this is the first part I hold all day other than tappings from the lip. Uh, this is a par 4 which is drivable so we're giving it a go, you'll be pleased to know I'm actually hitting driver. This 320 alignment again up the right, and it's landed pretty soft here. So, this is um, just a little seven iron, just trying to bump it up onto that back shelf, just trying to get a bit of work in from the um, yeah, from that little mound there. Did a pretty good job of getting it. We'll give myself a putt for birdie, pretty poor part. And uh, on to the next, so two holes left. This is around 400 yards or maybe a bit longer. So four and off the tee, because it basically cuts in at 270. You can't hit it further than that. I don't know what that hit, but I don't know if it's like a tree root or something. But it's kicked it way right. So it got 160, trying to thump a, thump a nine irons under the tree. Again, pretty good swing. Chance for birdie. And yeah, you guessed it. <laughs> Another one by the hole. And par 518th. This is 600 yards downhill off the tee. So just trying to hit the speed slot. This is probably 10 yards left at the speed slot. And uh, ended up giving myself 260 in. And then I had a slight bit of tree trouble there. So I was just trying to hit this two iron and get it sort of like low fade up around the corner, just into that cut area up the top there, just short of the green. Wasn't quite sure how much this was gonna hinder the backswing, but ended up hitting quite a decent shot here. So that took off. That was one of the driving range stingers that we all practice. And uh, shot Cora. I find the worst <laughs> I've ever seen, and uh, yeah, this is um, this is like in a hole. So, come out like sideways out there, knocked it up, and. Yes, it's to like a foot. So knocked it in, through over par. This is like that's probably the best ball striking round of shot where I've shot over par. Like if I if just you know half of those putts dropped that lipped or ran over the edge of the hole, it would be a pretty respectable score. So it's a tough place. But we're gonna try and go out there tomorrow, film it again. I'm off early tomorrow, at eight o'clock in the morning. So let's get out there, try and hold some parts, make some birdies, and try and get in the top twenty. That is the plan. See you tomorrow.